From a gigantic gator that looks like a dinosaur to a wasp with the head of an ant. This is Trending Tuesdays. Number 8. A female leopard shark in Queensland hatched three eggs in 2016, but she hadn't been with a male for three seasons. Leonie lives at Queensland Reef HQ Aquarium and is the first of a species in the world known to reproduce without a male. Experts think Leonie switched from sexual to asexual reproduction after she and her male mate were separated due to space restrictions at the aquarium. And it proves how adaptable a shark's reproductive system can be. Experts still don't know if such an event has ever taken place in the wild, but they say the reproductive transformation could possibly save Leonie's species. Leopard sharks are currently listed as endangered animals. It's been estimated that humans first arrived in North America around 14,000 years ago, but researchers from Montreal may have found evidence that humans traveled from Russia to Alaska some 24,000 years ago. The prevailing theory is that humans migrated across a land bridge called Beringia, an area stretching from the Lena River in Russia to the Mackenzie River in Canada. Over the course of two years, researchers examined some 36,000 bones found in the bluefish caves of Canada's northern Yukon, and those included mammoth, horse, and bison bones. Fifteen of those bones displayed straight V-shaped markings that were made by stone tools used to skin animals. Radiocarbon dating revealed that the oldest bone to display such markings was dated up to 24,000 years ago. Experts say that is indisputable proof that humans created the cut marks and that the location likely represents Canada's earliest known site of human settlement. A UFO was spotted flying in the night skies of Bristol Channel in the UK, and now a UFO hunter is demanding a scientific inquiry into the event. A helicopter from the National Police Air Service, or NPAS, captured footage of a mysterious black object flying over the channel in 2016 at an altitude of about a thousand feet. Authorities say it was a pitch black night and the object was filmed using the copter's infrared cameras. Chances that the object might have been a balloon or lantern have been ruled out, and although it was filmed for seven minutes, police say it's difficult to determine its dimensions. Gary Heseltine, the UFO hunter, says the NPAS has not been transparent enough, and he considers this to be a major UFO event and so has submitted freedom of information requests in an effort to learn the truth. As you might know, gibbons are apes, but they're not considered as great apes like gorillas. However, a newly discovered primate might be something even better, a Star Wars gibbon. The creature was found in Myanmar, east of the Irrawaddy River. Because these animals were found to be genetically distinct from those west of the river, they were designated as a new species belonging to the Hulak genus. The two researchers who made the discovery spent half a decade gathering information on the mysterious critter. Because they were big fans of Star Wars, the scientists named the primate the Skywalker Hulak Gibbon. All members of this new group have white eyebrows and facial markings and are thought to have diverged from other members of the Hulak genus around 500,000 years ago. Experts say that habitat loss and hunting puts this new species in danger of extinction. But on a cheerier note, the naming of the Skywalker Gibbon earned an approving tweet from Luke Skywalker himself, otherwise known as Mark Hamill. Did you know, ants have some pretty sophisticated navigational skills. The insects are known to walk backwards while carrying a heavy load, using only the sun and the memory to find the way. Researchers found that ants process both the sun's position and use their own visual awareness, occasionally glancing behind themselves while backpedaling. That enables them to maintain a course to the nest no matter which direction they're facing. Experts say that behavior suggests the creatures not only understand spatial relations relative to themselves, but in the external world as well. An ant's brain is less than the size of a pinhead, but experts think their mechanisms might help inspire a whole new generation of robots.
Footage captured by a drone shows what appears to be a huge crack in the Antarctic ice, one that measures 25 miles long. That has stoked fears that a British research station might be swallowed up by the icy chasm by 2020. The troubling footage has prompted the Halley 6 research base to relocate some 14 miles across the Brunt ice shelf. The 25 mile long crack is thought to be several feet deep, but the crack has split into two in some areas and has left small frozen islands in its wake. There hadn't been much activity from the initial chasm for over 30 years, but in 2012 it began to open and began to expand spend approximately one mile per year after that. A second crack appeared in 2016 over 10 miles north of the modular station. The Halley 6 base is a platform that maintains observation of global Earth, atmospheric and space weather conditions. Moving to its new location is expected to be completed before the harsh Antarctic winter begins, but experts admit they are uncertain as to what might happen to the ice shelf after the winter and beyond. The expression, ay caramba, is often used to express surprise or astonishment. Well, a strange new species of wasp evoked a lot of surprise when it displayed the head of an ant on its posterior. It was originally discovered in a region of Peru where the Amazon rainforest and Andes meet. The dead female specimen was taken to the Natural History Museum of Lima, Peru, where it was examined by researchers. The creature's ovipositor is a tube-like organ through which female insects lay their eggs. Both it and the posterior resemble an ant's head. Experts think the modification might enable the insect to attack spiders and the egg sacs in nests. It might also be used as a type of Batesian mimicry, a tactic some animals use to assume the likeness of a harmful species. Some spiders are known to be fearful of ants because the insects prey on them. The wasp's ant-like structure might serve to scare off spiders. Its appearance was so astonishing that researchers named it after the phrase, I caramba. A huge alligator made a dramatic entrance when it lumbered across a footpath at a wildlife reserve in Florida. Visitors at the Circle B Bar Reserve in Lakeland were so shocked that some thought it resembled a dinosaur. The beast is named Humpback, for obvious reasons, and while the gator isn't quite as big as a dinosaur, it is about as big as a mid-sized car. Well, just look at it. It's massive. Video of the encounter was posted to social media, where Humpback has attracted a lot of views and comments. Comments. Plenty of people thought the gigantic gator had to be fake, and its immensity even impressed a lot of Floridians. According to our research, the largest gator caught in Florida measured 14 feet 3 and a half inches, and the heaviest gator caught there was 1,043 pounds. How big do you think humpback might be? This is Trending Tuesdays.